Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can switch to a local update mirror on Linux Mint. So to start off, you need to open up your update manager over here and uh, click the OK button. It's gonna refresh and ask you to update. Now, out of the gate, you may see, do you wanna to switch to a local mirror? You can click yes, but if you don't see it, you can always click the edit button and go in that way. But once you click that button, you need to enter your password click authenticate always enter the wrong password okay so now here we are we can switch over our mirrors so I'm using a US mirror here but uh, it's not necessarily the fastest mirror it's one of the fastest mirrors but it's not the best for me and if you're living in Europe or like uh, you know Africa Asia using a US mirror for your Linux Mint system isn't exactly the best so you should select the fastest one to you and it tests it based on ping from your connection to the mirrors so for me it's going to be this top one so I'm gonna click apply and it'll ask me to update my package cache so I'm gonna click OK and it will update the information to switch over to the new to the new mirror and we can also do this with the base because as you might know Linux Mint is built on Ubuntu so Ubuntu is uh, built and based in England, which is far away from America for me. So if I want something faster, I'm gonna to have to select an American mirror. So I'm gonna let it load just like before, and we're gonna pick the LA mirror, and I will click the apply button. Now, just like before, it's gonna ask me to update my package cache. I can click okay, and it will switch over the Ubuntu base repository for Linux Mint to the American mirror instead of the Ubuntu one, and this is going to drastically improve my download speeds by giving me closer packages, you know, packages that are closer to me rather than getting ones all the way from England or wherever the Linux Mint one is at. Something I highly recommend, especially if you're living in a country that is not America, you're living in Europe, excuse me. Anyways, once you do that, you can go ahead and use your update manager. Now, I also cover how to switch it back if you decide you don't want to use these unofficial mirrors and I also cover how you can do this in the uh, in the command line so that's how this all works I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one